Hi, welcome to another Jashaka tutorial. Um, literally about a couple of weeks ago, someone asked me about uh, how to make a typography inside of Jashaka. It is something, ironically, well, funnily enough, I kind of dabbled in literally f about a month ago to see if I could do it. Um, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. I quickly made this about 10-15 minutes ago. It took me about 5-10, no, probably not 5 ten, about 10-15 minutes to make. But it just shows you kind of what you can do. So as you can see, uh, we've got some dude saying what you twice and then what you want. So this thing's time to say what you, what you, what you want. It's a very quick thing. It's, it's not the best in the world, but hey, that's one of the big things about typography that people need to realize is that if something doesn't come out good, it's with typography especially, there's a lot of it is to do with personal preference and as long as the music's all synced up and everything, beyond that is completely purely creative. For example, in my video, for example, on uh, Mozart Flares, it's all very scientific. You know what you need. You need you need an environment. You need a muzzle flash. You need smoke. Uh, you need sound. But with this, it literally is. As long as sound is synced up with your words, what your words are doing is completely creative and is completely up to you. Uh, the reason there's a bit of rotation in here is because is simply because I uh, thought you see a lot of these typography ones where you have a little bit of rotation where it starts off on one side and then flips around and all this so I just want to show that it could be done uh, however I don't want to put you in the illusion that it's easy it's not um, it's quite a hard task especially inside of Chishaka it's a bit long winded uh, the main reason for that though is because inside of Chishaka in the animation module you cannot use sound well, you can put a sound layer in there but you can't hear it whereas in for example After Effects you can still hear it so you could sync it all up in here so what you actually need to do is you need to go into your editing module you need to bring in your music so I'm using this track it's called what you want it was a free track to download not illegal it was made by this composer it's about a minute two min minute and a half long or something and uh, he gives away a few of his tracks royalty free, completely free to use and uh, I've forgotten his name but when I remember I'll stick it in the credits uh, in the description um, and it's basically his track as I said is free to use and royalty free so I'd suggest checking him out or just check in the description for his links and this is what it sounds like so as you can see it's basically that and it kind of repeats the same thing over and over again so I'm actually gonna split this track because I don't want the whole thing I'm going to delete that. Now, what you got to do is the way you got to work this is you've got to figure out where he's saying this. Now, in a perfect world, what you'd actually have is just an audio recording of the person saying what you what you want with no music, and then you could actually tell at the exact second what they're saying when they're saying. But unfortunately, you kind of have to guess it here. So I'm just going to play this through, and when I think it is, I'm just going to press. I'm going to split the clip. So I think he says the first watch you around about six second mark, five second mark. So if we play it, when he says watch you, it should be hitting past there. Yeah, and it pretty much does. Now we need the second watch you. And I think that probably hits around about the 11 second mark not entirely sure though in fact I think it might be the 9 second mark there we go, so try that yeah that sounds okay and then so we've got watch you and then it's going to be pretty much roughly the same length this is so 0 0.08 seconds So this starts at 0.5, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 frames forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And I reckon I'll add on an extra frame for grace. And So we've got three basic frames. We've got it starting at 5 seconds. 
then at nine seconds, then at um, so four, so the fourteenth frame, the ninth frame, and the fifth frame. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my animation module. I'll completely do a new scene. So clear scene. Click on add layer. I want three layers, and they're going to be 3D text. I know it says 3D text, but I'm actually going to change it to just polygon. And I'm going to call that what? I'm going to add another layer. Uh, sorry, delete that. Add 3D text layer, and I'm going to call that U. And we'll change that style to polygon as well. And uh, add another 3D le text layer, saying want. And we'll give that an exclamation mark. And change that style to polygon. So the first thing I want to do is I don't want to see the want layer at the moment. And what I want to do is I'll change the what. I'm going to change the color on that to red. And then I'm going to bring it up, bring it across. The U, what I'll do is I'll actually increase the size of that, so I'm going to right click here and I'll just put in an arbitrary value of 250 and just from there scale as appropriate. Although this actually looks pretty decent. Oh, sorry. There we go. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer to the Watt and then I'll move the Watt across to be on top of the U and that's pretty much spot on. Obviously you, you could adjust it how you want to adjust it. So now we're going to go to the front the very first frame. I'm going to uncheck these two boxes next to them. Click on plus keyframe for every single one. What this now means is that they are invisible. At the fifth frame I'm going to do it on the fourth because it might this looks a bit better on the fourth. I'm going to add the what. I'm going to pr plus keyframe, so the what appears on the fourth keyframe. Now what I'm going to do is problem on the sixth keyframe, seventh keyframe. Sorry, I'm going to add the u. Click on plus keyframe. So the what appears, then the u appears. On the ninth keyframe. So as you remember down here this actually the watch you starts again on the ninth. I'm actually going to make the U disappear. So disappear. So it's there for two seconds, then it's gone. But then on the eleventh frame I'm gonna bring it back. You because he's like what you what you and then what did we say? It was the which frame was it next one? Fourteenth frame we're saying so then we come along to the 14th frame and we'll make the want available now I want to change that so uh, I'm gonna change the color first to blue uh, we'll make it some other kind of blue and then no, don't really make any difference really I'm going to change its rotation to 90 degrees, so I right clicked there and did that. Then I'm going to change the scale, so 0 minus 50 to minus 50. I know this because I've already just done it, as you can see, I've just shown you the. And then what I'll do is uh, I will put it against the U part here. So there we go. And that now appears there. So we have. Oh, sorry, I, f I completely forgot to change the to add a keyframe <laughs> so got to change that to 90 got to change that to 0 minus 50 0 minus 50 x translation there add a keyframe there we go what you what you want so if we were to now let's make it look a bit better so what we're going to do is from there now on the I want by the 19th keyframe I want this want to be in the middle and all of this to have rotated so what we're going to use is a user a utility in Tshaka which is that the world layer is kind of like a camera outside of everything so if you move the world layer so the X rotation Y rotation everything moves 
So it's kind of like moving everything into 3D space. If you've seen my parallax uh, video tutorial, you kind of get what I'm saying. But what this means now is we can move, by just moving the world layer, we can move everything with that. And so it's a lot more easier than keyframing every single one of these. All we do is we're going to move the world layer, minus 90 degrees first. And then we'll bring it down, bring it across. And then we'll move the world layer towards us. Sorry, this uh, camera. And there you go. And then we're going to pl plus keyframe. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the frame 14. Because as you can see, this is now world layers. This is the first keyframe we made. We're just going to reset all of these. Click on plus. So now we have this nice smooth animation coming in like that. So we've got what you, what you want. So now we're going to render this out. Da -da 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 -da. Go to editing. We actually technically don't need these, but what I'll do is I'll make a nice smooth... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I did not want that. Let me go to track. With no cuts in it, because I've found when you add in cuts, they tend, it does tend to uh, skip sometimes. I'm going to click on append, and then I'm going to add in this animation clip, which I just created. Oh. And as you can see, we very quickly, probably, I don't know how long that's taken, what, 10 minutes or so to create something. Okay, albeit it's about a second long, but for example, if you're using the same animation like this over and over again for the same chorus, for example, you can very quickly and easily build up quite a decent repertoire. And you can do this any way you want. So you could actually, for example, then if you wanted let's say the words come on or something uh, sorry let's let's back up a bit let's back up to frame 14 I'm going to delete this layer click on add a 3d text layer and click on uh, so call it come on or something And I don't know, we'll polygon that as well because it's just easy for me to see. And we'll call, we'll make that red. Then what you can do with that one is you can X translate it there. You can change the rotation on it such that it's now completely invisible. And then what you can do is let's say we get to frame 19 and we're there. Uh, We'll extend this out a bit. We can now get go to frame, let's say, there a few frames later. We can change the world view, so it comes like this. Like this. We get translation like that. We get rotation like that. So as you can see now, we're having f pure 3D movement, like b at least there it's actually 2D, but there we've got pure 3D movement. Now obviously you can see it and it doesn't look that nice, but this is a very quick tutorial. You could actually, what you would do is, I, w I wouldn't actually make it the 3D layers in here, I'd probably make them in the text module or bring them in from GIMP and then uh, cut them out and then use transparency to adjust it and make it look a lot nicer and whatnot. But I still think that looks pretty decent. So you got what you what you want and then it says come on. Pretty cool. 
So I hope that's helped. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Bye.